you still could just about do those type of deals. And I got about four grand cash back on okay. the day. And when that it was 3,900 something, when that landed in the bank account, then my wife was converted. <laughs> I could do this. Before that, she thought, this is just crazy. Why is anybody going to sell you their house for less than it's worth? See, she you believe you, it. You said a couple of things there that, are, that kind of hit home a little bit. For example, um, I think, uh, and, and this is not the whole generation of property investors that are coming through, the new wave that are coming through, almost expect results almost instantly mm. within the first week, within the first month, within the first six months. But you said something there that you didn't actually get your first deal till a couple of years later. And and even then, it wasn't like you made a million pound on your first deal. It was just that belief of, okay, yeah. I've made 4,000 pound. This is 100% possible. I've learned a little bit. I've put that knowledge into play. Um, there's a question that's actually come through. You actually answered one of them already. But um, there's a question that come through, which is quite interesting because you mentioned it there about networking, mm -hmm. um, especially in your early days when you were just starting out, you went to a lot of networking events, probably met a lot of people as well. Um, I've had a question that's come in from uh, Aya. So uh, thank you, Aya. Um, she said, if someone was quite sort of shy or introvert, what advice could you give them, um, especially when it comes to their first couple of networking events to, to really put themselves out there and, and sort of go two feet in, into, uh, into sort of like the property industry or... or the community if you like it's a great question uh, because it's about getting outside your comfort zone exactly. um, so so the short answer could be you just got to get over yourself but that's probably not very practical <laughs> not very helpful either um so it's a case of how, how do you do that well what i would suggest is maybe going along with a couple of friends rather than being completely on your own yeah so you just you feel in a slightly more comfortable environment rather than the way way outside your comfort zone um and it's it's when you're when you're talking to people and networking, what I found, especially at the beginning, um, you know, because I well, I hadn't done any networking before that. Mm. You know, I was quite social, happy to chat to people, but I didn't really kind of understand what I was doing. Why I was there. I'm just learning about property. You know, why am I here? I'm just learning about property. Yeah. And it's only when I look back, I can tell who were the smart networkers and who were just, you know, let's just leave it there. <laughs> so, um, and the smart ones would take time to understand people they talk to you, they'd be focused on you, looking at you straight into your eyes, tell me why you're here, what is you looking to achieve, what would help you right now, you know, one of my favourite questions, what's one thing that make a big difference for you right now? Yeah. You know, they ask meaningful questions that really make you think and stop and think, well, actually, this is what I'm doing, this is what would help. And then they'd try and connect you and, uh, you know, say, maybe talk to this person or, or do this or yeah. have you thought about doing this. So really adding some value without any expectation of anything back. And that was a huge learning for me. Yeah. So when we talk about networking, it's not as though you've got to go and talk to 100 people. If you had three meaningful conversations in one evening, that's a good network evening. Yeah. I think what I found really doesn't work, uh, I've seen people do this, and, and bear in mind, a lot of these things I've done myself to figure yeah. out they don't work <laughs> rather than <laughs> I'm saying I'm more perfect, far from it, um, is when you turn up with 100 business cards, just chucking <laughs> them away like they're confetti. Have my card, have my card, just show my people. Know, what happens to those cards? Just go straight in the bin. Yeah. Nobody even looks at them. And uh, so now I don't have any business cards. The reason I don't have any business cards is because I want to take the contact number of the person I've spoken to and I want to be in control of that conversation. I want to follow up with them. Yeah. Rather than leaving it to somebody else, hey, give me a call. Call my people and they'll talk to your people and yeah, we'll arrange yeah, something. Yeah. That's just nonsense. Nothing comes <laughs> from that. I love that. I love that. You touched on something there, actually, and it was a video that I remember sort of vividly watching about a year ago.